Mazi, I want to thank you so much for everything. Thank you for everything. Mm. The way you came to rescue me, your encouragement. I mean, what would I have done <laughs> if you had not been there with me? Ah, Ozondo. Mazi Ozondo. The king did the magic. So, reserve the accolade for him. For without his connection, it couldn't have been possible. It wouldn't have been possible for you to come out from police custody by now. It might have not their place by up to now. Okay. Mm -hmm. May God bless our king. Mm -hmm. yes. But you know very well that now, Madika Shinekeja role, God uses people for people. Of course. So the king has used you now to save me. <laughs> so I'm thanking the king to you. Uh, is that is that it? Ask for the man who can't I can I can't do it. 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 I do I I I still can't believe that Ibokwe could go this far. Hmm. <laughs> this is just the beginning. Yes, we have started it now. He must surely tell me the whereabouts of my missing child. And he must bring back that land he sold. He um, must bring it back to us. Uh, by all means. So. Uh, Nkechi, calm down. Take it easy. Uh, allow things to settle a bit for now. Just allow things to settle a bit for now. Just wait to be. No. Mazokoro, we must face it once and for all. Uh, yes. He started it first. And we are going to do our own too. A woman relax herself. Uh -huh, because we are... Don't be faster than your shadow. Like he said, allow things to settle naturally, yes. normally. When the right time comes, you see things unfolding. Mm -hmm. I will take I know what to do. I will take care of it. I don't this is not done by word of mouth. Mm -mm. You have something to do. Just calm down. Relax. Calm down. You coordinate yourself so you have more action, stronger action than your words. Uh -huh. Not by shouting. Can it? I am very convinced that I married one that every woman out there, any woman, would want to have. A man that I love so much and can do anything for. However, these past days, you have recently gotten me thinking. I want to know, are you still the man I walked down the aisle with? The man I exchanged marital vows with. Are you? Really? Have I given you reasons to believe on the one? Oh, you have not only given me reasons, Kenneth. You have given me reason beyond any shadow of doubt that you are not the same anymore. What is going on? Are you sure that you're the one speaking? Kenneth, what is the link between your life, our family, the throne, and that place called Ogbo? What kind of stupid questions is that? 
Why must your mother and I follow you to Ogbo? I want to know. You know, this is unbelievable. We're going in circles and you said all of that to me. Because I asked you and Mama to follow me to Ogbo tomorrow. I demand to know, Kenneth. I demand to know why we must follow you to Obo. Especially considering that you used sentences. Sentences like, if we love our lives and, and the Tron, that we must follow you to Obo. What is going on? You and I have been married for five years. And in those years, you have gotten pregnant seven times with seven miscarriages. I met a man, a very powerful man. who told me that a solution to the problem of childlessness in this family awaits us tomorrow in our home. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, you're not Kidding? Okay. Do you want to see an end to the problem of childlessness in this family? Is that supposed to be a question? You know I have been longing to have my own child. Then you and Mama must come with me tomorrow to our home. Where we seek a permanent solution to this problem. Going to, you don't look okay. What's the problem? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm rushing out to the village. Uh, is anything the matter? <sighs> okay. I, I'm not. I'm not. I, I'm not. I, I have a. I don't know. I don't know why I have a, a bad feeling. They, they, they said that my mother needs me urgently. I don't know what it's about. Oh, okay. I was actually going to your house and I got something nice, delicious meal oh, for you. You made me food. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. But you, you know, I cannot take this now. You understand? I have to go. Yeah, I understand. I understand. So what do we do? Okay, don't worry, let's go to the park. Got to see you through. Um, let me see you off, then from there I'll go back home. Uh, okay. Yes, okay. Amara was beautiful. She loved me with all of her heart. My love, yeah? how is your mom? And then how is her health? Ah, uh, well. She's still alive. We thank God for today. I keep thanking God for as long as she's here, but uh, I can tell you for sure that my mom needs medical care. Yes, I know. But you told me two days ago that she wasn't feeling so well when you got to the village. My question is, how is her health? Is it still very critical? It's bad. Wow. It's, it's really bad. She needs urgent medical care. I, I, I don't know what to do. Then we have to take her to the hospital. 
that's a, that's that's what we should do. That's the logical thing to do. Ayamara, that is the right thing to do. But how can I do that now? Where would I get money from? Huh? I went to my uncle today to tell him that his sister is critically ill. He's also not having it easy. He started telling me about the problems and everything that has befallen him lately. I felt like he was even giving him what I had on me. I'm confused. I don't know what to do. Okay, it's all right. You have to calm down. Please. So how much how much does it take to take her to the hospital? What's the cost? I, I have not started having that kind of conversation with the doctor, but we all know that proper medical care is expensive. I don't have that kind of money. Okay, but we cannot let her die. We have to do something. So, with what now? Okay, please calm down. Okay, I'm calm. I have some money. I have some little savings. And we can use that. Please, don't say no to me. You have money from where? Um, wait, 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 wait. What money are you talking about? Well, that's more money that they pay you as a hotel receptionist. Well, I'll stop it. That, that cannot go anywhere now. Is that the money you want to give to me to take care of my mother's health? Mm hmm Yes, no. We can make use of it, please. We have to take her to the hospital. Please, darling. Please. Please. Wait, hold on. You want to give me your your whole savings? Yes. All that you have saved to take care of my mother? Yes, my love. So stand up to help you. Everything that you lay your hands upon will prosper. Yeah, you are not going to lose your job. Yeah, all that concerns you, God will take care of. Yeah. I am so grateful, Amara. It's Thank okay. You so much. It's okay. Amen. It's enough of all these prayers. Let's go and get the money so we can mm. go to the hospital. Please. Amara, give me the sum of 50,000 naira that day. I will rush to the village and took my mother to the hospital. Mr. Kenneth, your mother's sickness is not what you are taking it to be. Are you trying to tell me that my mother's sickness is beyond medical powers? Please now, help me. Not at all. We need more money. The 50,000 Naira you deposited is not enough in treating your mother. I know. I know. But well, please now, just carry on with treatment. I'll, I'll run around town to, to get help. I'll look for more money. Just be treating her while I'm sourcing for money. Please. Mr. Kenneth, you seem not to understand. Going by the test you conducted on your mother, she needs surgery urgently. And you don't want her to go blind. No, do no, you? no, 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 please. No, my mother cannot go blind. Please, 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 please. I know she needs surgery. Do everything that you can for her, please. Restore her sight. Help her. You understand? Whatever it is that is her problem, I promise you, I I'm looking for help. Please, I'll get the money, please. But I just need her to be fine. Please, now treat her, please. No problem. You can count on us on that. But we still need more money at least 150,000 naira to commence surgery immediately. What? Yes, we need more money. You seem not to understand this. We need more money.
So how has it been with you? It has been tough, I will not lie. You know, I lost my father just shortly after our NYC. That means you don't have a job right now. Well, I have work. <laughs> I have a job. You know, but my my case is like that of someone who does not even have a job because they keep owing. You know, sometimes you work January to, to, to April and they pay you for just one month. As I'm sitting here, they're owing me for three months. What? I'm telling you. That's just ridiculous. I mean, why will an employer hire an employee knowing that he or she is incapable of payment? Okay, no sense. That's the country we're living in. The other companies, though, you know, where one can work and get paid. But you know all these top top companies, they keep telling you there's no no vacancy, no vacancy. There's this company I've been pursuing for months now. I, at least I know that if, if I had gotten a job there, at least they'll be paying because it's a big company. I, I, I sent in an application late last year. This is almost middle of the year. Nothing from there, not even me alone, even some of my friends too. You know, that's what we're going through. What's the name of this company? Oh, they call them um, Lumac, Lumac Group of Companies. You know, I sent an application last year, I think end of last year. This is about six, seven months now. Not just even me, a couple of me and some other people. We've not heard anything. Months. Okay. Let's let's talk about your mom again. She needs surgery, you mentioned that. How yes. much do they need? One fifty. One fifty thousand. Without that, they cannot carry out the surgery. Can you take me there? But they will not even, and they will not talk to you. They say that the date of the surgery depends on when the money comes. Those people are hard-hearted. I just want to see her. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. No problem, I'll take you there. How is Mama? Well, you can see that I'm smiling. And that says it all. Mm. Uh, <laughs> well, the good news is that Mama will no longer lose her sight. Are you serious? Yes. I am happy. God is answering our prayers, sweetheart. Wow. Yes. They agreed to carry out the surgery. Eh? Really? <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, you remember initially when we went to the hospital, people, we pleaded with them to... to to continue, go ahead with the surgery so that we can run around, see how I can get money, but they refused. Okay. So today something happened. Mm. <laughs> okay, what is it this time? Ah, this life. You know, sometimes when you're going through a lot and when you're really agitated and they tell you, don't worry, God is in control. Because of the pain that you're dealing with, you, you just, you know, you, okay, yes, I believe, but you see today, Eh? Yes. God showed up. Okay. What had happened was that I... Again, today I just got overwhelmed with emotions. I was worried again for Mama. So I ran to the hospital to see if I can beg them again to carry on with the surgery. That I, I'm going to get help. They didn't listen. I cried. I begged. They didn't listen. I got frustrated. I got tired. So I, I left the hospital. You know, on that major road, mm -hmm. just immediately... I was walking, I, I wasn't thinking. A car almost ran me over and then coincidentally happened to be an old friend from my NYC days. Oh, okay. She came out of the car, was surprised to see me. I was also surprised to see her. You know, I, I, I tried to, you know, be friendly and she asked me what was going on. I told her everything. She told me to get in the car. Mm -hmm. I turned around, we went back to the hospital. She approached the doctor and cleared Mama's pee. Are you serious? Right there and then I'm telling you the honest truth. They agreed to carry out the surgery. She paid, not just for the surgery, she also gave me some money to buy a few things, you know, for Mama's upkeep and all. Wow! Today is indeed a very beautiful day. I'm oh not lying to you. God, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's not all. That's not all. Okay. See, I don't want to tell you over the phone. I said, when you get here, I'll let you know. Okay. Do you remember Lumac Group of Companies? Yes, yes, yes. Well, I've what been sending it? in applications. Oh, okay, yeah. They called me today. 
Are you serious? Yeah, to come pick up my appointment letter first thing tomorrow. Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm happy for us, baby. Wow! Eh? God has done it. I'm so happy. Things are getting better. <laughs> you checked me. I love you too. I, I love, love you so much. So much. Mm. Mm. It's fine. Mm. At least I can take care of you. Really? I can buy your cream. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Come in. Hi, Mr. Ken. Make yourself Hi. comfortable. Lucy. Yes. Welcome. What? You? I, I'm shocked! What, what is going on? The, 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 the statue told me to, 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 to come in here when I got their call. The, 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 the DG uh, MD wants to have a meeting with me. What, what, mm -hmm. what are you doing here? What, I'm surprised. <laughs> well, you are meeting with the DG and CEO Lumac Group of Companies. You've got to be joking. Or your, your Chief, Chief Williams' daughter? What? His only daughter. It's good to see you again. Mm -hmm. um, as a matter of fact, the name Lumac is actually from my names. Lucy and Amaka. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, after we graduated from Bayelsa. Yes, Bayelsa, I remember. I went back to London. But then when my daddy died, I had to come back and resume work on his behalf. What kind of a person are you? Really? What? What? You, you, you come from so much wealth. Mm -hmm. And you allowed yourself to go through all that we went through in Utwabula, by Elsa State. We went through a lot. I know. <laughs> but you, you, have, you have a good life. Why did you... You know what? Your type is rare. Mm -hmm. we, don't, we, don't, we, don't, we don't have your type in the society anymore. Thank you. <laughs> I am humbled and pleased to hear that from you. That said, I would like to officially congratulate you and announce to you that you my friend have officially joined the lumac group of companies family and you are to resume work as the new assistant manager congratulations i'm older i'd say hey thank you <laughs> Thank you, madam. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you better stop it. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, I need time to take all of these things, I'm sure. Take your time. Thank you. You're welcome. What? <laughs> Sweetheart, you have refused to eat your food. What is the matter? I'm not hungry. I have appetite. What do you mean you're not hungry? But you called me to prepare something for you to eat. Huh? You said you were so hungry. What's the matter, please? Okay, how did the meeting with Luma Company, how did it go? It went well. Okay, okay. I got the job. <gasps> Are you serious? Oh my god, I'm so happy! Oh god! You want me first thing tomorrow morning to resume as an assistant manager? Oh my god! Oh, I'm happy! What is it? Why are you not happy? How can I be happy? I have just two weeks to, 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 to forget this place. What are you talking about? 
What, did you not read the letter that Dan gave to you to give to me? No, I didn't. Well, there you have it. I'm owing rent. Four months rent here. And Lanon has, uh, has, has threatened to throw me out in the next two weeks if I, if I do not pay. That just ruined my day and destroyed. In spite of the fact that I got a job today, I, I, I just... I don't know what to do. Calm down. The devil is... Where would I begin to walk from? What, would, I, would I sleep under the bridge? Please. Why is it that when you just solve a problem, another one just springs from nowhere? Huh? You have to calm down. I know the, the, the devil is a liar. Please, you just have to calm down. Hmm? Okay, I'll see what I can do about it. I don't know what to do. What would I get? How do I? I? I cannot even begin to ask for an advance payment. I'll look stupid. Okay. I, I I know right now you don't have the money, but you have to calm down. You have to eat, please. Don't worry, it's going to be sorted out. I don't Trust. have the money. Leave me. Sweetheart, please, you have to calm down. Hmm? I'll see what I can do about it, please. Amara gave me the money after three days, and I paid my rent. yourself. Yes, my love. Yes, <laughs> Isn't that better? Stop it. As long as we're here, you're the boss. I think it's ridiculous that my man will refer to me as ma'am. That's fine. So what's up? Um, I want to let you know that your apartment will be ready by the weekend. So you better get ready to move in, hey? Thank you. You're welcome. Best news of the day, huh? Tell me about it. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for all that you've been doing for me. Mm-hmm. I appreciate it. You know I'd do anything for the man I love. I know, baby. I know. You know, this weekend I leave this place and I move to my official apartment. Are you serious? Ah, oh, this is good news. It's I'm so fine. happy. We can get out of this dump eh? and take in some fresh air. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. You're such a wonderful person. Huh. You have stayed with me all these years. You know, sometimes I wonder what you see in me. <laughs> <laughs> God will bless you. Amen. God will bless you. Amen. Um, baby, yeah. I have something to tell you. Oh, you do? Yes. Oh, go ahead. What is it? Um. I haven't seen my period for for a month now and I think I'm pregnant. What are you talking about? Pregnant how? Huh? Amara pregnant how now? Amara how? You're pregnant how? I don't I don't understand. You're pre Why? Why would you allow something like this to Hey, um, sweetheart, um, don't, don't sweetheart me. Uh, no, 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 no. What are the time like this now? I'm bad. No. Why would you not allow yourself to get pregnant? For what? God knows I did not allow myself to get pregnant. Eh? What is it? Hi. Okay, what, okay, what do you want me to do now? I, so what are we going to do? I don't know, but don't even think of abortion, please. But that's our only option now. So what can we do? What can we do? See my circumstances. What? We cannot afford a baby. Don't you understand? No, we cannot afford a child right now. We cannot afford it. Eh? But you won't have a child at all. Well, your parents will just kill you. No. My mom will not even take this whole abortion thing, please. Uh, no, 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 no. Reconsider now, please. Just abort this one. Man. Okay. Just stand. I'm begging you. Remember the home you're from. Your father will be heartbroken. You know the position that you and your mother occupy in church. Please, the society will frown at it. Please, just, just, just this one time. When I get promotion and, and things get better, okay, we'll relax, but not now. Eh? Please, we're, we're just trying to, to, 
to, to move out of this place. I'm gonna be coming. Everything I have begged you've done for me. Please. What kind of temptation is this now? Eh? What kind what 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 kind of problem is this? Eh? Now that I'm planning to marry Lucy and all my plans are about to become reality. Amara just comes up with this as stupid pregnancy. Ha! Huh. Uh, she was with me, oh. She was with me, oh. She stayed with me, oh. She stayed with me. While things were really bad for me, ah, she was good to me. Hi. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Ha. Huh. But I cannot remain in this poverty. Oh. I had taken the abortion pills that I got for her. Pills that I ordered her to take. And upon my return, I opened the door and Amara was, was lying on the floor in a pool of her own blood. Amara was dead. And so I waited for nights to fall so I could bury her without anyone seeing me. I buried her. Oh yes, I buried her. As time went on, I moved out of that house and moved into my official apartment. Lucy and I grew stronger every day and eventually fell in love again. And we got married and I moved on. I did not kill her intentionally. I only wanted her to terminate the pregnancy.
Kenneth, you have the mind to kill someone else's daughter. I thought I knew you. I never knew you had been dead. Accident, you said? Did you say accident? What's the accident? Nonsense! You said it's an accident. What kind of accident? What? What is the meaning of what you just did? Eh? Do you want to soil your hand with your blood? Don't ever ask such a silly question again. Don't! Except if you don't want to breathe in the next three days. Because if you do, the next few seconds, you will lose it. You will no longer be on this earth plane. I'm, I'm assuring you this. Nonsense. On whose side are you even? No, on whose side are you? Hey, hey, don't, don't say anything. I might want to remind you that as it is now we are childless. Do I need to remind you? Don't say anything. Better be sorry for yourself. When next you try this, I will not be held responsible for my action. If you try it next time, I will not be held responsible for my action. Nonsense. terrifying or no it was i have never seen anything like that before in my life i came face to face with death today that man pulled a gun on me i never imagined that he would do something like that why you know how can he do something like that to me my king my king yes i am amazed what are you talking about no 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 you surprise me a lot what have i done now no what are you saying what, did I do something wrong? My king, you killed and buried someone's daughter for six solid years, my king, without telling them. Eh? Yet you have the gods to be saying all this. Oh no. Count yourself lucky. Oh no. That you came back alive. Oh no. I don't expect this from you. Oh. I was you cannot be saying this to me, you know. I, I, I'm hoping that we're the only ones here. What you have just said to me is not right. Oh, uh, quite all right, I agree. I, uh, My know. king. Yes. Where is your wife and your mother at this moment? Oh, well, uh, they should be at the palace. You, you know, when the man put the gun and we all took off, they, they, they refused to join my car. But, but I came here, you know, I, I ran to you immediately to, 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 have, to have a word with you. Look, my king, the best you do now is run to the police. Report this case to the police what? before this man goes there before you. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. What, what is going on with you today? How can you suggest that to me? Have you even imagined what the police would do to me if I go there to tell them what I did six years ago? Oh, no. No. Oh, I am king. Let the man file a report if he feels it's necessary. When they invite me, I'll invite you. And a few elders in council, I'm Walk around it. Oh no. My king. Yes. The choice is yours to make. Oh no. Where exactly are you standing on this matter? No. I told you, Abnisha. I am standing on the path of truth. My son, uh, what really happened? Father, I can't really say. All I know is that I was coming back from school when some boys surrounded me with guns and took me away. Lord have mercy. They even came with guns? Mba mama, they came with sticks and spoons. What kind of question is that? What else do, do kidnappers go with? Hey! Did they tell you why they kidnapped you? <clears throat> it was a mistaken identity. 
they were looking for one notorious courtist, which they claim looks exactly like me. And uh, they released you like that? <laughs> they did not just release me. So what happened? Mama, it was truly a miracle. One of the boys that was kidnapped after me happens to come from a wealthy home. So the family quickly paid the 20 million ransom they were asked of. So the day the money was paid, they were all happy. They drank and became drunk. They slept off, so I escaped. God really saved you. This is indeed a miracle. It's truly a miracle, my sister. I hope they did not wound you. Eh? I hope you are okay. <laughs> not really. All I am just thanking God is that I'm alive and out of their cage. That's all. But are you sure they will not come after you again? God forbid. They will not come after him. They will not come after my son again. Hey, my son, I thank God for your life. Hey. I know this is hard. I know that I've hurt you. I know that you're very disappointed in me, to say the least. But please, baby, if we try, We can get through this. Baby, stop crying. Baby, please. I'm sorry. Baby. What? Don't. No, don't do this. Don't do this to me, please. Baby please, baby, please don't do this. No, you can't. You cannot do this to me. Please, please, baby, baby, you can't do this. Baby, don't do this. You're breaking my heart. Please, please, baby, please. What is this? Please, fool. You want me to continue staying in this house with you? You want me to live the rest of my life sharing in the curse? You brought upon yourself with you. <laughs> Absolutely not. Baby, baby, please. I can't continue like this. Baby, please. Please. Remember all that we have been through together. Remember the years. We had good times, you know? We. I had good times. I have loved you with all of my heart. Remember what we've shared? All of these years? You, you want to let it go? Please, baby. Baby, please. You know that I did this because I wanted to be with you. Listen, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to put this on you, baby, but please. I killed my unborn child. I killed my first blood. Because I chose you. I chose to be with you. Please. Oh my god. Oh my god, can I do one? Unbelievable! I'm sorry. Oh my god. Oh my 
god, Kenneth! Oh my god! <laughs> Kenneth, you... You killed a woman! A woman that loves you! Kenneth! You killed a woman! A woman that loved you. <laughs> she loved you, Kenneth. But you. But I. You, you had to kill her. No, because I. Know. And then you had the infantry to look into my eyes and, 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 and tell me that. It's because of me. It's because I loved him. You more. said it's because of me. It's because I loved him. It's more. not because of me and that silly love that you claim to have. I loved you more. I'll tell you something, Kenneth. You didn't do this for me. You did this for you! You did this because of greed! You did this because you wanted my wealth! You didn't love me! It's not love! It's love, baby. You are despicable. You are a monster! You married... You married a pregnant woman and her unborn child. Your first blood! Your child! Oh my god! You did all of these things without anybody knowing. I don't even know you. I don't freaking know you. Baby. Can I, don't say a word to me. You hear me? Please. Yeah. Please. We're here for my lord. Yeah. Please, let me say this one thing. You're right. In the things that you have said and in the way that you fear right now. But I please plead with you to temper justice with mercy. <laughs> Because if I have a two of her, I'll still choose you. So, Amara, my only child is actually dead? Wait a minute. Could this be true? Does it mean I will no longer see my daughter again? No. This is not possible. This must be a joke. It is a dream and not a reality. So, Ibokwe, my brother, is not responsible for my daughter's disappearance after all? God, what is going on? Someone should wake me up from this nightmare.
Mom. Lucy is packing her things. She wants to leave me. You're not saying anything, Mom. What do you want me to say? I want you to please help me stop her. I don't want her to go. I don't want to lose her, Mom. I'm still here because of the blood and bond that binds us as mother and child. Kenneth, I would have left you. Hold no grudge against you, whatever it is that you say to me now. But please, do not turn your back on me. Not now, mother. Not at this point in my life. Mommy, please, I need you. I need you now. <laughs> now more than ever before. Be gone. Sorry, Mama, but I cannot do what you're asking me to do. My daughter, I understand how you feel, but he needs you now more than ever. I would have left this palace as well. But I can't, and I will never do that. I have passed through a lot in this Paris, and I do not wish to entertain these sad experiences anymore. I need to breathe some fresh air. Christianity teaches us that marriage is for better, for worse. That includes moments like this. My daughter, please, do not break the oath you took at the altar of God before his great congregation. Oh, 
I'm not happy. But what are you really talking about? My greatest fear. The greatest nightmare. Have all turned to be reality. If you didn't have nature, I didn't come and lock on if you come and lock on if you. I wish I raise you. I don't understand. Tell me, what are you really talking about? Amarachi, my daughter is dead. Who's on the fiawa? Who told you that? The young man that murdered her six years ago was in my house today. Who's on the? Uh, are you sure of what you are saying? Are you really sure? Ukuru, imam, imam, di ko yena ko yeri ako yeri. Ah, I'm surprised. No, no, no. I, am I, am I mad? I am telling you the reality. If you are doubting me, you can go to my wife, and she will tell you. Confirm from my wife, then you will believe that I'm telling you the reality. Cha, ye me ne me kan na wagu. Amara no zindo. This is unbelievable. Hey, I have been accusing my brother Bukwe wrongly all this while. But now that I have finally confirmed that he is innocent, how do I approach him? How, how do I face him? Oh no. Oh no. Are you sure that, that your friend, that your native doctor friend, Ayoko, is real? King, what kind is of that way? man real? I, I, I'm no, asking no, no, I'm a simple asking, question. Yes, the same question I'm asking. Why this kind of question? I have known Ayoko for so many years. And he has never disappointed me. For once. Is that why you think that he is real? Why this kind of question, my... Ayoko told me to go ahead and confess that that's the only way I'll be free from the three daughters of the earth. I confessed. You confess? And I can tell you that last night I had the worst attack of my life. So, I don't get it. Is that all? Is that why you now believe that he is not real? Or why would he tell me something that would not happen the way I said it? Why would he do that? Your Highness, as a matter of truth, I've known I know for long. He has never failed me. He has never disappointed me. He has never, never lied to me. So why would he start it from you? Oh, that we would have to find out. Oh, you would have to accompany me there today. Oh no. Mazio Kuro. <laughs> I am so happy today. My son Juhuma is back from the lion's den. From the kidnappers den. Iboke, <laughs> what did you just say? That Juhuma is back? Yes, my son is back and healthy. Huh? Why did you not tell me that you succeeded in raising the ransom? Okay, see me. I did not pay any ransom. I, mean, I don't understand. Stop that. I did not pay any ransom. If you did not pay that ransom, how was he able to come back without the ransom? Is it, it possible? It was like a miracle. How? My son Chukuma told me 
that the kidnappers got drunk that day and slept off. Then he had to escape. That's how he came. <laughs> it was in Nata Aliva. <laughs> Thank you. It was indeed a great miracle. It's a great miracle. It's a great miracle. I am so happy. But the only regret I have is accusing my brother Ozondo of being behind that kidnap. I wish I did not do what I did to him. Mm, okay, Zioko. Let us celebrate the more. Chukuma coming back from Lion Den. It's not an easy a better <laughs> celebration. I won't go. <laughs> 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 Why do both of you seek after me this hot afternoon? The great one, my king wants to know why the three daughters of the earth will continue to attack him even after he has made the confession. Did they appear to you, the owner who just told you, great one, that I was attacked? And this time around, the attack was serious. My question is, great one, why are they still attacking me? Why? 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 The spirits are still angry with you. What are you talking about? I have done everything you asked me to do. Everything? The parents of the girl are yet to forgive you. You need to go back to them and plead with them to forgive you. Then you will perform a sacrifice at the grave of the dead girl and officially marry her. Marry a dead woman? Marry, you say? I don't understand. What kind of a thing is that? What? Are you sure of what you're saying? That I would have to marry? You must do that and free yourself from the three daughters of the earth and the curse the dead girl laid on you. <laughs> the wise one, will the parents of this girl ever forgive him? No parents will be happy with a man who killed their only child. It will not be easy, but you need to do what you are supposed to do. Nay, how did the meeting go? My dear, the meeting went fine. Uh, it's just that the government representatives that were present uh, requested for the whole thing to be verified before making payment. Is that right? We should allow them to do their verification. <laughs> do we have option? We don't have option. Yes, so, uh, while I was away, did anybody look for me? Uh huh. Mazukuru came here looking for you. And I okay. told him that he went for a meeting. I, I hope all is well. I think so. All should be well. But he said that we should come to his house tomorrow for a meeting. I don't know. That we should come to his house tomorrow for a meeting. Ah. And you are sure all is well? I don't think there is any problem. I don't think. Okay. No problem. Till tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll go. Let me finish what I'm doing in the kitchen. Okay. I will soon. Well, yeah. Let me take some fresh air. Yeah. You mean you went to a native doctor's place? Do you find something wrong with it, Mom? Everything is wrong with it, Kenneth. Don't you know that we are Christians? A child of God is not supposed to have anything to do with paganism. Not at all. Why are you going contrary to your faith? 
I have not gone contrary to my faith, mother. I know what I'm doing. No, you don't. And I want you to discontinue with whatever you have with that native doctor. I'm sorry, mother. I cannot discontinue. I've found a permanent solution to this problem. And I'm not going back. The Holy Bible forbids it. But the Bible tells us to give to Caesar that which belongs to Caesar, mom. Kenneth! You are misinterpreting the word of God. Oh no, mom. You are the one who do not understand how these things work. I am a Christian. But I must give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. I'm going through a lot, mother. I will not continue to live like this. Now I have found a solution. And there is no backing out. <clears throat> My people, I called this meeting for us to settle our differences so that peace can reign in our family once again. This family used to be together as one to the point that the other families used to be jealous of us. As it is, I want us to settle this dispute today and return to the way we used to be. But before then, who's all do my brother? Mm -hmm. I want you to repeat what you told me the other day in my house here concerning your daughter Amara. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Dal, thank you so much for this meeting. Um, I told you that Amarachi, my daughter, is dead. Now the young man that was responsible for her death came confessing in my house. I also told you that Ibokwe, my brother, is not the one responsible for the disappearance of my daughter, mm. Marachi. Initially, I was thinking he is the one behind all these problems. But he is not. Thank you very much. <clears throat> I want you to tell us here what you told me the other day concerning the release of your son, Chukuma. Uh, I, I told you that uh, I did not pay any ransom for my son's uh, release. Uh, and uh, that my son escaped his abductors while they were drunk and they slept off. <clears throat> now, my brothers, if I may ask, is it not obvious that we've been accusing ourselves wrongly? I believe there is a need for us to come back together as one and forgive each other. No matter the level of offense, yes. how do your people you, see to you, it? You are right. Once more, thank you so much for calling for this meeting. Mm. Um, Ibukwe, my brother, my wife and I are deeply sorry for everything. Please find a place in your heart to forgive us. Yes. Na Ibukwe, please. I'm very, very sorry for what I've done. Please find a place in your heart to forgive me. Please, sir. Well, <clears throat> as you can see, my wife is not here. She had an emergency and went to attend to it. The mother was sick. Um, my family and I have accepted your apology. Thank you. And we apologize also for accusing you of being behind 
My son Chukuma has uh, kidnapped. We are sorry for that. We further apologize for taking you to to police. On your going further, we apologize for selling your land. I promise to return the money. It's still intact. I have not spent it. And I want you to, to find a place in your heart to forgive and forget what has happened. I don't actually know what came over me. My children, mm -hmm. we are still one family. Let us continue to live in peace and happiness. Yes. <laughs> Uncle Uzando. <laughs> hey, Uzando, you shot at them. Why? Maziokuro. Maziokuro, what kind of question is that? Do you expect him to clap for them or embrace them with open hands? They killed our daughter, you know. They killed our precious daughter. Uh, Ibokwe, I know the gravity of what he committed. But it will be very wrong for us to have his blood in our hands. That is exactly what I'm talking about. It will be very wrong for us to have his blood in our hands. But then will it be right for them to kill my daughter and get away free? They killed my daughter and they want me to leave them. To allow them to go free. May the gods forbid that I say something like that. They must never go unpunished. I know what to do. I know what to do. I will involve the police. This young man must be picked up and made to face the law. Mm, I think you have a good point. But I suggest we hear them out first. Besides, our tradition has a special way of handling issues like this. I think we should go with the laws of our land. Let us not involve the police for now. Kek is a fear. My husband, I thought I told you about the dream I had. So why are you doing this? What did I do? What did I do, Nkeshi? They should go and thank their God that I didn't aim well. That my aiming was wrong. If not, we wouldn't be telling this kind of story now. But I tell mm. you, when next they come here, if I told they come to this place again, none of them will return alive. None of them will go back alive. So what will you gain if you succeed in killing any of them? What will you gain? Do you know that you will be the real murderer because it's a deliberate act? If you don't. And what does that mean? What are you insinuating? That young man did not kill our daughter intentionally. That's what he said. What he said? Okay, she, whether intentionally or unintentionally, he killed my daughter. Simple. What are you trying to tell me? We have to leave it for God. Let God judge. Let God judge him. I wouldn't want his blood to be on our hands. So. I think I'm done with this discussion. Enough of your sermon. You can return to the kitchen. Hmm. Mm. I said enough of your sermon. Remember it. Mm. My only daughter. Mm. 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 My brothers, I know what that young man did was wrong. But I want us to temper justice with mercy. He actually did not kill our daughter intentionally. So, Okoro, hmm? by that statement, temper justice with mercy, you mean we should leave him 
to get away with that wicked act. That is not what I am saying. Then, why are you dancing around whatever you want to say? Whatever you want to say, say it. If that is not what you mean, then tell us what you mean. If it is okay, if we are comfortable with it, no problems. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if we are not, I personally would take the matter to the police. Uh, uh, Uzando, go to the police. Calm down. Take it easy. I understand how you feel, but it has not got into that. As a matter of fact, his owner who came here yesterday with some elders, pleading earnestly that we should settle this matter without involving the police or courts. I gave it a thought and I realized that taking it to court will worsen the, this matter. Besides, it will not bring our daughter Amara back to life. Um, <clears throat> I suggest we settle this matter peacefully without involving the police. See, as it is now, they are ready to do anything we ask of them. I suggest we hear them out first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why are you staring at me? I've said my own. It was on the beautiful. And what if you go near? Did I lift anything up? I'm okay, if you go near. So hold on. I've heard you. Thank you very much. It's here. We thank you and your wife so much for the call or not. You're welcome. It is a sign that whatever made you to send for us is positive. As none of you will be in the morning. I actually invited you people here. It was after considering a lot of pleas from you people, my friends, my kinsmen. I mean, I, I decided to let go of everything. Yes, I let me leave everything for God. If God can allow it to happen in the first place, who am I to question God? So let everything be by God. My wife and I have forgiven you people. And we no longer hold any grudge against you. Thank you so much. Itia, thank you so much. You're um, You and your wife may not know what you have done for us. It's but God. I, I want you to have it at the back of your mind that you have done what many cannot do. We really appreciate. I pray that God will go ahead to console you people and bless Amen. you. And you people too. May God bless you people as well. Thank you. Yes. What can I say? I'm touched. By your show of kindness and forgiveness. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. May God continue to bless you and your wife. And I promise to always be present and never to let this family down. I give you my word. It's all right. It's all right. Um, may God bless you people also. Thank you. Um, let us leave the rest for God. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, yeah, uh, get it. My king, I still can't believe what you just told me. You know, I wouldn't lie to you. <sighs> so people still do this type of thing in this our present society. Hmm? Hmm. Those things we used to watch in the movie, they still happen in real life. Oh, who would have thought? 
you know, who would have thought? But as you can see, <laughs> right before us, it still happens. <sighs> mm. Now, now I know why the gods chose you after the death of our king. Yes, they are really with you. Thank you. But my king, you took a very big risk by going to a man that you killed his daughter to tell him and his wife that truly you killed their daughter. My king, the fact we are to be in their shoes, I wouldn't let that person get out free from my own family. Uh, oh no, let me quickly correct you. I did not kill Amara. It was, an it was an accident, more of a mistake. Even the heavens know that I am not capable. It's okay, my king. You don't need to swear. It is not necessary. Not at all. Uh, my king. Yes. I think what we should be doing by now is planning for the uh, sacrifice and the marriage rites, as Anoku told us. Yes. <coughs> Having successfully concluded the cleansing and forgiving sacrifice, I hereby stand as the eldest person in our family and kindred to declare that we have accepted the marital items from your people and we are now ready to give out our late daughter Amarachi to you King Kenneth in marriage. <laughs> King Kenneth, are you ready to perform this ancient rituals? Yes, I'm ready. Then, come forward. The great people of our world, I greet you all. Yeah. It is indeed a sad event. And I did go call I am here because I am ready to do the needful. Then place your hand on the casket. Do you agree to accept our daughter as your wife? Respect her? Take good care of her family at all times. Go, 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 go
Be gallant. Take this drink. Go around for everyone to see. Pour a little portion for Amara to drink. And then take your portion. Take. Mazuzondo, come and do the needful. Daughter Marachi Wanko, to you in Kenneth, the marriage. But you will take good care of her as I bless this union from the bottom of my This handbeat belongs to our daughter, and our tradition demands that a husband must wear it for complete one year in cases like this. Take. It's all over. To remain here till tomorrow to perform the final rituals before you go.
You know, I cannot believe, Mama, that you can do this to your own son. What are you talking about? Oh, don't pretend. Not to know what I'm talking about, Mom. You know exactly what I'm talking about. How have I offended you, Mom? Did I do something? Huh? Kent, I am a Christian. Not just a Christian. I am the secretary of the Christian Women Organization in our parish. I am also the leader of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. I am also a member of the Catholic Bible Instructors Union. I cannot practice idolatry. What happened today has nothing to do with idolatry, Mama. What is the problem? Did I do something? What is the problem? For I don't understand you anymore. My Bible. My Bible did not tell me that a man will marry a dead woman. Will marry a spirit. Oh no. What you people did today is fetish. And I can never be part of it. Excuse me. Wake up! What? What is it? Why you push me down? Why you push me down? On the floor. I woke up on the floor. What are you up to? You did. You did, Kenneth. I woke up on the floor and you pushed me. How can I? Why would I? It, it's, it's too late into the night for you to play games. I'm tired. I want to sleep. Push me, wake up and be divine. now i don't like this i don't like it stop it now stop it now what is this now you keep pushing me down what's the problem now uh, baby slow down slow down i didn't push you yes you did yes you did you're being funny and i am tired i just want to sleep stop pushing me can i talk i am not pushing you you're pushing me Why kenneth do that? it's not cute it's late you're taking sleep off my eyes baby you keep waking me up I, i'm I'm not pushing you off. Why would I want to do that now? I didn't touch you. Look at you. You even have mischief on your face. What mischief? Hey, I'm tired. Hey. I'm sleepy. I am tired and I'm sleeping, but you won't let me sleep. Leave me. You know, it's the second time you're waking me up. What's going on tonight? What is going on is that you should leave me alone. 
leave me alone. Wherever it is you learned this from, it's not cute and it's not funny, just in case you think it's funny. What you actually say? You don't believe Don't wake me again. Why would I do that now? Please, can we just sleep? I'm sleeping. Don't try to wake me with your stupid Please, pranks. Don't try to fight me. I'm not pushing you off. Please, let's not fight. <laughs> of all the times to be funny it's now. What is this now? Why are you crying? Huh? It's the eve of our wedding. We're supposed to be happy. Married people. Everywhere in the world, they are very happy and excited. On a day like this, you are not supposed to be happy. I've looked for you everywhere. I didn't know you were here crying. Why are you crying? See the way you're looking at me. Did I do something wrong? How do you expect me to be happy when you have decided to take away my happiness from me? How, have I... How would this night be the best and memorable night when you have turned it into a worse night for me? Shh, don't say that, Amara. Come on. Stop crying now. Look, the truth is I don't understand what you're talking about. How have I made tonight the worst night of your life? Yeah. I know you have been unfaithful to me all this while. But what I don't understand is why you should exhibit the act of infidelity to me in this particular night and on our matrimonial bed. What matter? Sweetheart, what are you saying? What matrimonial bed? I don't, I don't understand what you're saying. Tell the halots to leave that room right now. Else I will do something everyone will regret. See Amara in my dream this night. I heard this girl she was referring to who is she? Ah, oh, now I understand. So it's been Amara all this time. This is a handwork. Ah. What do I want? I am not here to harm you. What are you looking Tell at? Tell her to leave this room right now. Are you okay? What's wrong? She wants you to leave. Excuse me? Why do you want me to leave? What is it? Tell her to leave this room. You're right scaring now. me, baby. What is it? Amara is here. She, she wants you to leave. I don't want her to harm you. Amara is here. Am I? Oh my God, she's here? Yeah, she's here. No, right, right behind you. Get it! I'm losing my Baby, patience. I, I can't see anybody. You're scared. She said she's losing her patience, and you should leave. This room. Tell her to leave this room. That's what she just said. Just I, go. I think you need to relax. Sweetie, I don't want to lose you. Please, please, please. I don't. Don't, don't have my. Don't, don't have my wife. I beg you, have my Please, don't. Kenneth, I'm losing my patience. Tell her to leave this room right now. She said she's losing her patience. Like she, you, you should leave right now. That's what she just said. Please, please. You gotta believe me. Please, come on, please. Please, please. Oh, whoa. Honey, please. Please, please. Just go. Just, just go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Just go. Just go. Just go. Just go. Just go. Am I dreaming? Just go. Just go. Just go. Oh, for the love of God. It's a couple of people like that. Um, very, very gorgeous looking people, actually. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> even though we have been married for years, I still, I still look at you and I'm in awe of your beauty. What is it? What do you want? 
What do you want? I have done practically everything that you and your people want me to do. Yeah, you keep showing up here. Can I not just have peace in my home? What is it? Leave me alone, please. Why are you doing everything to provoke me? Why are you being so unfaithful in our marriage? Shh. What marriage? What are you talking about? Huh? Just go. Leave us alone. Baby, what's the matter? She is an intruder. Tell her to leave right now. Oh, hey. no, you are the intruder. She is my wife and she goes nowhere. Get out! Wait a minute. Is she here? She's right behind you. <laughs> What's your problem? Huh? Amara, what is your problem? Leave me alone. Why are you bent on destroying my home? What is your problem? Why would I destroy the man that I ever loved? She is the one that wants to destroy you. You and I have nothing in common. For the dead and the living have nothing in common. Leave and stop coming here. Honey? Sweetheart? What in the world happened here? Who did this? This is all my stuff. Who could have done this? So, what is the meaning of this? Hmm. I'm supposed to be asking you what is going on here. So what are you talking about, sweetheart? I'm asking you. You're throwing it back at me. I, I, I just walked in here and I can see that this whole place is a mess. I'm asking you, what is going on here? It's you that has to tell me what is happening in this house, Kenneth. Because I don't understand one bit. What is this? What manner of embarrassment is this? Look at all my stuff. Tell me why it is that I cannot drink water and chop the cup in this house where I live. I am lost. I'm not. I'm not. Because I know it's that ghost of a girl. She did this. She keeps doing this. It's just from one embarrassment to another. For what? I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Okay, calm down. Calm down. You need to calm down. You, take you it and the dead girl calm down. I'm actually calm down. Alone. Sweetheart, stop, stop, stop. She's a spirit! Don't do that! So don't she do, can hear me! Don't do that! Stop it! Sweetheart, don't stop do that! Stop it! I didn't kill her! Am I the one that killed her? I know! Am I actually? Am I wrong? Am I the one that baby. killed you? Baby, 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 baby. Why can't you leave me alone? Calm down, please! No, sis, sis, sis. You're taking You're taking this too far now. Take I am it. taking it far because I'm hard enough to hear! Okay, baby. This is please. Harsh. Leave me alone! Baby, sweetheart, please. I'm not your sweetheart. Leave me alone. You brought this upon us. Baby, please. Okay, take it easy now. Sweetheart, please. Huh? Huh? Amara, what do you want? Amara, what do you want? What is it? What do you want? Please, leave me alone. Leave me alone. All that you've asked for me, all that you've asked of me to do, I have done. Why do you keep tormenting me and my family, Amara? Please leave us alone. Leave us alone. Stop showing up here, please. Just go. Please, just go, please. Greetings to you, the wise one. Greetings in return. The great one. Oh, you are here because of what is happening in your house since your marriage to Amara. I am here because I don't understand why I keep having those experiences. In spite of all that you've asked me to do, that I have clearly done, wise one. Yes. I will speak when I am permitted to speak. I take that to mean that you knew exactly what to say, wise one, but chose to keep quiet. Wise one, I am beginning to suspect foul play. Young man, do not attract more problems. Go home. Everything will be all right. Go home before it becomes too late. Go! Let us go. Let's go. Let's go. Mom.
Mortals are fools before the gods. This is just the beginning. Mother, I have been through a lot. I have been through a lot these days. These past few days, Mother. Have been very difficult for me. yourself involved in sacrifices, charms, spirits. What do you expect? Mother, I did what I did for us. I did what I did for everyone. How was I supposed to know that this would be the outcome? No, you did not do it for me. You did not do it for anybody but yourself. I warned you that you wouldn't listen. I want you not to get yourself involved in what you don't know. Tradition you know nothing about. But you chose to get married to a spirit. You wedded a ghost. This mess. I don't want anything to happen to my wife. I'm my own born child. I am counting on your help, mother, please. You choose the path you are walking on right now. And you will walk on it. Mama, I, I heard your discussion with my husband and I quite understand your points, but I want to beg you to please temper justice with mercy on every decision or action that you may want to take. Lucy. My child that I gave birth to, after carrying him nine months in my womb, ignored my advice and went ahead to do what is now causing him pain. I think my son is disobeying me because he's now a king. For that, I cannot do anything for him. Please. Temper justice with mercy for the sake of my unborn child and I. I want to see that Reverend Father. How did you go to know him? I spoke with Kinsley 
and he told me how powerful that Reverend Father is. You spoke with my son? How is he? What is he? Yeah, he's not returned to Nigeria as he's promised. Mark Kinsley said that he had a problem over there and he was detained for too long. He said that if it went for the Reverend Father in question, he would have been in jail. Hey. I want to see him, Mama. I want to see that Reverend Father. God, I know that you're my cow. I'm not afraid of all these things. Whatever that's trying to destroy what you prepared, I command you, I command you, Holy Father, wherever the are tormenting this particular family, I call you power to come down now. Anywhere they are, I don't want to care wherever. But I know that there is God in heaven. Because I know there is God in heaven. Father, 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 go in. I will rest on the Almighty because of my God. I will strive. Today they won't be silent because I believe that I know who is God. I am the Father from Almighty God. Wherever they are hidden, all the hidden things went in this family. Today, I command you to be destroyed. God, because I know you're my Lord. Because I know you're my Lord. You are my Father. You foul spirit. You daughter of the earth. What are you doing here? Who are you and what are you doing here? I am the servant of the Most High God, the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings. Whose authority am I here? Live here before it's too late for you. I am not afraid of you and your likes. The Lord whom I serve is greater than you and whatever you represent. My father, my father, may we perform the gift we shall prosper. Any tongue that rises up against us shall be destroyed. I run in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit to condemn you. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. Holy Ghost, fire. Holy Ghost, fire. Holy Ghost, fire. Holy Ghost, fire. God. I, 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 I. My father, my father, my father, my father. I know you people are going to gather, but my God, the Father, the God is not from the God Almighty. You must be scattered. You come to us in one way, but in several ways, you'll be destroyed. Holy Ghost, fire! 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 Holy Ghost. Um, we give God all the glory for the deliverance he granted unto this family. The family was up against a very dangerous kingdom. Did he say kingdom? I thought it was just the dead girl and the spirits that we had to contend with. No. No. You see, Amara belonged to a very um, serious society called the daughters of Earth. See? These daughters of the Earth do not love more than one man. And they do not believe in abortion. Any man, any man that crosses their path must marry all of them. This is really strange. Are there still girls like this in our present society? Um, Queen Mother, Amara has no heart to hurt your son. And that's why he's still alive. And that's why nothing has happened to him or his uh, wife. Only the miscarriages. 
she has been having. Your Highness, the marriage you had with her spirit was to seal the relationship with her so that she could be able to bring you back to her in the spirit world where both of you will live as husband and wife. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the arrangement has been concluded. They are waiting for you to welcome you in the spirit world. Your Highness, let me tell you. If not God, who is on your side? By this time next week, you would have been a dead man. What? Don't be scared. That was then, not now. You're a complete free man in Christ Jesus. You're a new Amen. person. <clears throat> Amen. And nothing is going to happen to you, your wife, or any member of your household has assurance from God. Your wife, she's going to give birth on her due time. That is the promise of God in your life. Amen. That's the Lord's doing. God is wonderful. God is wonderful. Thank you. Well, it's well. It's well. Thank you so we give God all the glory. Bueno 